Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. Answer us, Lord. For your mercy is kind. In the abundance of your mercies, look upon us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we come in this Eucharistic celebration to be strengthened and renewed by the sacrament that we will receive. And so to prepare ourselves for this celebration, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you, Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, look with compassion on our weakness and ensure us your protection by stretching forth the right hand of your majesty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated.
are reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, if you remove from your midst oppressions, false accusations, and malicious speech, if you bestow your bread on the hungry and satisfy the afflicted, then light shall rise for you in the darkness, and the gloom shall become for you like midday. Then the Lord will guide you always and give you plenty even on the parched land. He will renew your strength and you shall be like the watered garden, like a spring whose water never fails. The ancient ruins shall be rebuilt for your sake and the foundations from ages past you shall raise up. Repairer of the bridge, they shall call you, restorer of the ruined homesteads. If you hold back your foot on the Sabbath from following your own pursuits on my holiday, if you call the Sabbath a delight and the Lord's holiday honorable, if you honor it by not following your ways, seeking your own interest or speaking with malice, then you shall delight in the Lord, and I will make you ride on the heights of the earth. I will nourish you with the heritage of Jacob, your father, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Incline your ear, O Lord, answer me, for I am afflicted and poor. Keep my life, for I am devoted to you. Save your servant who trusts in you. You are my God. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for you I call all the day. Gladden the soul of your servant, for, you, for to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. For you, O Lord, are good and forgiving, abounding in kindness to all who call upon you. Hearken, O Lord, to my prayer and attend to the sound of my pleading. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Please stand. Sinabi ng kong mahal, di ko nais na mamatay ang mga makasalanan. Nagpapagong kalooban upang sila ay The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus saw a tax collector named Levi sitting at the customs post. He said to him, follow me. And leaving everything behind, he got up and followed him. Then Levi gave a great banquet for him in his house, and a large crowd of tax collectors and others were at table with them. The Pharisees and their scribes complained to his disciples, saying, Why do you eat and drink with tax collectors and sinners? Jesus said to them in reply, those who are healthy do not need a physician, but the sick do. I have not come to call the righteous to repentance, but sinners. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated.
Jesus in our gospel today used the image of a physician. And it is as if he was referring to himself, a physician. Bihira po ito. Bihira po ito gamitin sa Biblia yung larawan ng isang physician, doktor. But in our gospel passage today, Jesus is referring to himself as a physician. And what does a physician do? He heals. He treats sick people. And I think, my dear brothers and sisters, this is what Jesus would like to remind us this Lenten season. It is a time for healing. That is why Jesus uses the image of a physician. He came as a physician for those who are sick. Dumating po siya sa mundong ito bilang tagapagpagaling. At pinapaalala po siguro sa atin ngayong panahon ng kwaresma na ang panahon po na ito ay panahon ng pagpapagaling. That is why we must treat all our Lenten observances Fasting, ano pa ba, no? Abstinence. I'm sure many of you are doing the way of the cross, no? Prayers, almsgiving to the poor. All of these practices are meant to heal us. In our first reading today from the book of the prophet Isaiah, this is what the Lord explains to the people of Israel. He said, If you remove oppression, false accusation, malicious speech, if you give your bread to the hungry, then He said, I will restore you. I will repair you. I will bring you strength. To do penance, to do good on the Lenten season is geared towards healing us and strengthening us. Lahat po ng ginagawa natin ngayong panahon ng kwaresma ay para pagalingin tayo, palakasin tayo, patibayin palalo tayo. Please, my dear brothers and sisters, do not just look at our Lenten observances as inflicting pain on us. Madalas kasi, no, kapag panahon ng kwaresma at gumagawa tayo ng sakripisyo, ang iniisip agad natin ay we inflict pain on ourselves na sinasaktan natin yung sarili natin. Kaya minsan, halimbawa, Friday, Nagiging biruan tuloy ngayon. Naku, Friday, magugutom na naman ako. No? Kasi munggo ang ulam. No? Hindi ako makakain ng gusto ko. Naku, kwaresma na naman. Hindi ako kakain halimbawa ng chocolates o ng soft drinks buong 40 days. Pero araw-araw naman, nire-reklamo mo yun. No? Naku, namimiss ko na yung coke, namimiss ko na yung chocolate. Ang naiisip mo lang palagi, yung sakit. But Jesus reminds you that fasting, penance, it is not just there to inflict pain. No. Penance, fasting, abstinence, almsgiving, all of these should not just inflict pain, but they are there to restore us. To renew again our faith. To renew again our resolve in following the Lord. Kaya nga siguro, no, napapansin ko kapag mga ganitong weekends, ang daming 
dumarating dito ng mga nagbabaik no kalalo kapag umaga na ganito sa labas no maraming nagbibisikleta minsan galing pa sa kung ano-anong lugar yan kapag nagbibisikleta ba kayo syempre napapagod kayo no pero ang nakikita niyo lang ba yung pagod hindi masaya masaya parang nare-renew ang katawan ninyo nare-renew yung ating lakas napapatibay muli that is what penance the penance of lent should bring us it is not just there to inflict you pain it is there to renew our strength to renew our faith that is why in our gospel today when levi the tax collector was called by jesus and told him follow me Levi left everything behind. Iniwan niya lahat, pati ang trabaho niya, para sumunod kay Jesus. Nagreklamo ba siya? Ano ang ginawa ni Levi? Pagkaiwan niya ng kanyang trabaho, nagpakain siya, no? nagpapiesta siya. He invited his friends to feast. Dapat sana nalungkot siya, naku, iniwan ko lahat para kay Jesus. Iniwan ko, wala na akong kayamanan, wala na akong trabaho para kay Jesus. Hindi siya nalungkot. Natuwa pa siya at nagpakain pa siya sa lahat. Even if he left everything behind, it did not inflict pain on him. In fact, it strengthened him more. My dear brothers and sisters, As we continue our Lenten observances, our Lenten penance, fasting, abstinence, giving food and help to the poor, Jesus reminds us today that all of these, even our sufferings, even the pain that we experience, are not there just to inflict pain on us. Pain and suffering will restore and strengthen us once more. Restore our faith, renew our resolve in following the Lord. Sana po mga kapatid, sa pagpapatuloy po ng ating panahon ng kwaresma, at tayo po ay gumagawa ng mga sakripisyo natin, mga munting sakripisyo. Sana po ay wag lamang natin itong tingnan na nakakasakit, nakakagutom, nakakapagod, kundi tingnan po natin ito bilang isang paraan ng sagayon ay muling magpanibago, muling magpalakas, muling magpatibay ng ating pagtugon sa ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. In this Eucharistic celebration, as we hear the Word of God as we receive the bread of life. Let us hear the message of our first reading. I will nourish you. I will repair you. I will strengthen you. I will restore you. Amen. Please stand. Christ came to call sinners, offering them salvation. With humility of spirit, aware of His call, let us now bring our prayers to the Father. For every petition, let us say, Divine Healer, make us whole. Divine Healer, make us holy. That the Church may be seen as the healing home of the weak and the sinful. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine, Divine Healer, healer make, make us, us holy. holy. That through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, 
may peace prevail among the nations of the world through the mercy that they show to one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine, Divine healer, healer, make, make us, us whole. whole. That unity may grow in our nation through the citizens' respect for one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine, Divine healer, healer, make us whole. That the work and in our families, we may not be fault finders. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine, Divine healer, healer, make us whole. That the dead may experience the saving power of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine, Divine healer, healer, make, make us, whole. us whole. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions and for the intentions offered in this Mass. Father, this season of Lent, even as we seek righteousness, keep us from self-righteousness. As we look forward to the Savior for mercy, may we participate in His saving action by forgiving those who have sinned against us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, we pray, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise and grant that cleansed by its working, we may offer minds well-pleasing to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels as with one voice of praise, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth, earth are full of your Lord glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name, in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, 
by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our, Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ.
For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Nourished with the gift of heavenly life, we pray, O Lord, that what remains for us a mystery in this present life may be for us a help to reach eternity. Through Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. O Lord, abide graciously with your people who have touched the sacred mysteries that no dangers may bring affliction to those who trust in you, their protector. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Faithfully yours until the end to your